What's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk about VGX and a couple of things going on on the chart, as well as some recent news here. Now, I'm not going to go into like the Voyager bankruptcy stuff, the Voyager vote that's coming up, but if you want a previous video about that, I'll leave a link down below. But I did want to tell you guys that we are still waiting for the review on Binance.us to approve Voyager token for trading on their platform. I got an article that I want to go into in a second here, but it does look like Voyager hit a resistance here on its descending resistance. And this was established back in May of 2022. And you'll notice we've had these instances before where we kind of just get a spike out of nowhere. It consolidates and either we dump and start moving down if we break the trend to the downside or we break it to the upside and just start popping. So you're gonna wanna watch this here, but it does look like we're already breaking our trend. However, on a bigger trend, we are still tightening up and VGX is set for a move either to the upside or downside based on the direction of the breakout. But just for some quick context, if you didn't know, FTX, when they were gonna acquire Voyager, they didn't plan on doing anything with VGX. They said it doesn't have any utility anymore since Voyager Digital is going bankrupt. Well, Binance.us is reviewing VGX, as I mentioned, and hopefully that can provide some value to VGX, but we will see how all that goes. Now, for those of you that are curious, like where you can actually get VGX still, I'll leave this article down below for you, but essentially you can't get it in the US, at least according to this article. Now it says here that USA residents are prohibited from purchasing VGX specifically, and I think you can't even go on Binance, you have to be on Binance.us anyways, but it is essentially one of the same. And then going to gate.io, USA and Canada residents are prohibited, and then Wazir X or Wazirks, USA residents are prohibited. So in my eyes, it is very important that in the Binance review, they do approve VGX. Now I also wanted to go over this recent news here. A holder of 6.8 trillion Shiba Inu transfers billions of tokens to Coinbase and Binance US. Now the tokens transferred were VGX, Chainlink, Ethereum, and SHIB and 2.1 million of VGX was moved. And the addresses were actually Voyager and Voyager 1. So that is kind of interesting that these tokens have been moving around while Voyager is still under bankruptcy. And I wonder if something fishy is actually going on. Because one thing you have to think about is we're still waiting for the vote and then we're waiting for the March approval. So there shouldn't be really any movement of these coins, at least that's what I'm thinking. As I said in a previous update, Alameda Research is trying to sue Voyager for 446 million and saying that Voyager Digital played a role in its demise by recklessly sending customer funds to Alameda. I just find that very uh, hypocritical in my eyes to say, you know, that Voyager Digital was the problem here. But let me know how you guys feel about that down below. Now, according to a previous court filing, Voyager expects to see Alameda's assertions be either reclassified as equity or given an equitable secondary position to all other creditors, meaning they gotta wait in line as well for the money. And I think that's more than fair. And while VGX has lately been kind of pulling back, you know, crypto in general over the last day has been pulling back a little bit, but there are definitely a few outliers here. And when you just look over the last week, you know, we've still got a lot of gains here on a majority of these cryptos. And looking at Bitcoin, it is holding relatively strong. It just recently created new highs. It's been maintaining its low and we do have a descending resistance to keep an eye on. So if we don't crack out of this, we may crack this support level. You need to watch that. Thanks for watching guys. Just figured I'd give you a quick update on VGX. And what are your thoughts on these recent transfers? Take it easy.